Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Magistry. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me, as always, and not pictured on your screen, is FHN producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hi, everybody. And we are back with one last run. Pittsburgh Penguins 2025-2026 season. Last kick at the can, part 11. Jeff, uh, last year ended up with some excitement followed by a giant big dud. And, uh, well, we quickly went into the off season, did a draft, which I guess I'll pull up the entry log here and take a look at what happened in our last draft here. Regular season. We actually had a very good regular season and you were, I think first, the best penguin season in several years with a fairly young lineup. Wound up with Carolina in the first round. Uh, they were fourth in the, uh, Number four seed, we were number one, and we got swept. Yep. Or you got swept. I prefer to look at that, that look at it that way. Yeah, it wasn't exactly perfect for us by any means, but uh, we went through. Should mention if anybody hasn't noticed, we just uh, a like uh, in oh, about fifteen minutes ago uh, released the uh, what's well, hopefully the final update for FHM ten, unless we run into some serious problems that we've got to fix in a hot fix. But if you haven't seen that yet, uh, you can get it now available on Steam or you can download it uh, from the links on our forum. Yeah, so we had our big draft. We took some swings on some guys. Most notably, we drafted a Russian player, which I don't do very often because he's in the KHL, locked there. But he It is, is easier to get guys out of the KHL now in the game. Uh, you can yes. pay them a little bit extra, which is how we got... Uh, Marashov, one of the goalie who's in camp with us right now, uh, out. Yeah, but and they can buy out their contract. We got two or three really good guys to start. We, I mean, Jackson Smith is looks like he has a potential to be a pretty good defenseman. We got Braden Coots, who's looks like he could be somebody of important for us. We got a score in Emil Gut Gute. I'm not sure how you say that. Gute. Gute. And then the Russian, and then we filled in with some other guys who've been scoring, and we'll see what turns out for them. Um, our depth chart is both interesting and terrifying, and there's no really way in between it. We are very young and very old all at the same time. Uh, and there are going to be a lot of jobs open in camp. Uh, there is a ton of jobs be... open in camp. There's what about... Eight, nine forwards who have jobs, probably four defense when one goalie and everything else is complete wild card. Yeah. I mean, if you look at the goaltending situation, uh, we didn't, who was our backup last year? Uh, was it Dykow? Or no. Uh, no. It was somebody we uh, traded we... away. Uh, it was the guy from Ottawa, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to Mandalese, the Kevin Mandalese. Kevin Mandelis, yeah. Yeah, we trade him for a second round pick. Who has wound up uh, signing with Minnesota apparently in the offseason. Oh no, we traded him to Minnesota. Yeah, that's no, right. That's why I said traded him, yes. Uh, yeah. We did get rid of Eric Carlson for a second round pick for some reason. They offered us a big, big move on that. Um, and got rid of a, got a whole bunch of cap space out of it, which we yes. haven't really used all of yet. Well, there wasn't really anybody intra too interesting, even looking at free agents right now, like who could help us. Linus Allmark, but that's not really. I mean, it would upgrade the backup goalie. Taylor Hall's still out there, but yeah, he's coming off a pretty weak season in Chicago. Riley Smith, who was with us last year, but you didn't resign. Uh, you could bring him back on a training camp tryout and maybe get him cheaply at the end of that if you want to try that. I'd rather, I think, at this point, just let the young guys go and see what happens. I mean, we could try and sign Grigoriev, too, for that matter, if you really wanted a, a gold tender upgrade. And down checks there, too. Yeah. But I think for the most part, we're going to try this and see. Well, see, there is a guy I'm tempted by. Morgan Barron. Who, by the way, Jeff, I don't know if he's, he's been actually taking face-offs for the Jets, and it turns out he's actually pretty good at taking face-offs yeah. as of late in real life. Good pick him up. Uh, but do we really need to mean, you have a few of these guys you're right at... Uh, yeah, well, we got some guys who are probably going to send down. 
Or what, you think we should offer him a training camp tryout? Yeah, you can bring one or two guys like that and then just try them through the exhibition season and see if there's anybody that really stands out. Now, Philip Kurachev is an old, old favorite from a Quebec stream many a year ago. Um, I'd be more inter interested in defensemen, but the top defenseman looks like is Ollie Mata, who is an ex-Penguin in real life, but I don't really think we need him. And he's 31 and has spent most of the last couple of years in the AHL, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of thin on defensemen. Eric Gustafsson's there, he was... Looks like he went back to Sweden last year and might want to try again. Uh, I mean, we could we could sign Brendan Dillon. He's already got a training camp tryout. What's Dillon actually want? One point seven six seven million for one year. It's not terrible. How old is he now, though? Thirty four. Yeah, that's likely to decline quite a bit in the, during the course of the season. All right, we'll run with what that. we got. We'll run with what we got. So Jari's going to be our goaltender. We know that. So let's bring in... I'm actually going to just send... Well, actually, I guess we could send the Russian goalie back to the KHL. Yeah, Which... it was, well, he's showing one star now, so... Yeah. Uh, well, you can send him back to the KHL, or would you rather have him... And, I don't know, you got... Uh... Well, no, you've got enough. You've got three extra go You've got four goalie signed plus Jari, so that's... Yeah. Either back up two for the AHL, and you could put one guy in the, to start in the ECHL. Yeah, okay. Just give me a second here. Okay, so we want... Kuharu, so that's three, four, five, six guys for six defensemen, and then we want the rest are being forward, so... No, Cates. We didn't have Mazin Leslie in, but you know what? That's okay. Um, Tristan Braz. All right. Dominic Peter, David Goyette, Coots, Hopkins. We're just going to run a bunch of rookies. And. Gonna flip and give Daikow the best chance to play here. Oh wait, I put Chris Letang in. That's a mistake. Take him out and put Leslie in. All right. I don't know if that's a good idea for a first pairing. Both of them are point shooters, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, Gagnoni was, uh, I think, started out with, drafted by San Jose. See, they traded him to somebody and who had him camp last year. That was, oh, that no, was Nashville. Had him camp last year and he didn't work out and they decided not to sign him. So we think he's a two and a half stars, which is probably good enough to play for us this year. We'll see if that actually is true. All right. We, I decided I switched everything up and so bring Morgan Barron in and he's our number one center right now for some reason. All right, as a tryout player. p -Wog says, good evening. Or, sorry, go blue evening, I guess. I should say that correctly. p -Wog, are you excited for the final? Ooh, four or seven, one loss. Ooh. Noah Kate scores on the power play, and then we get just absolutely crushed. Morgan Barron, uh, though, was actually hovering around 50% game rating, so... Okay, well, there you go. Morgan Barron played almost nine minutes of shorthanded time. Okay. <laughs> well, if we're going to spend all our time uh, in the box. Many, how many penalties did we take? It's a lot of penalties. Yeah. Amazingly, we didn't give up a power play goal. But we did get a did give up a shorthanded goal, so that's not exactly perfect. And you're saying frozen four this uh, tomorrow night and then Saturday the final? 
Uh, so, sounds about right. Yeah, Boston College in Michigan and uh, Denver and Boston U, so potential all Boston final. I got a cheer for Michigan for my for Rutger McGrady. Salary cap. Not really a big fan of any of them. I know a guy who went to play for Boston University, so I guess I'll go for them. Uh, So we currently have 40 players on our roster, and we're still only at 78 million. (laughs) So uh, I'm thinking for the goalies, uh, send Marash off to the ECHL, because I don't think, let me just double check his. Time for a cap. Yeah, he doesn't see. Well, we might have to. Send Mirage up to the ECHL so he can learn English instead of sending him back to the KHL. Because he's going to need that or he's going to have problems. I feel like he's going to be very angry at us for sending him to a league that is too low for him. Well, he's the... Uh, either that or Bjarnason, but Bjarnason's actually showing one and a half stars now. Yeah, okay. We'll send him all the way down to the Wheeling Nailers. Since he's not likely going to get into a game now. And he is isolated and does not like the harmony. Well, our harmony on our team sucks anyways. Should mention that you were you, you did that while I think off stream. Uh, there was a new quick prop, prop that uh, popped up with a bunch of the rookies in it. And you tried to get Crosby to break it up. <laughs> and now our rookies hate Crosby. Yes. Uh, six five win. Crosby. All right. There we go. All right, how did our boy do here? Morgan Barron. 18 minutes, 54 offensive game rating, 61 defensive game rating. Okay, I think Morgan Barron's going to end up making this team. It kind of uh, fills the spot that uh, we lost with Nieto. Yeah. Well, again, we lost Nieto, who won the, was it the Selkie? Yeah, he won the Selkie last year. He just wanted so much money. And so we let him walk. And actually, one looks like he wound up going went inside in Switzerland for this year. So All right. we nobody have else is willing to pay him either. Dropping a little bit, but that's okay. We'll give Bloomquist this game. And we lose 5-1. This is a really big surprise that we're getting our butts kicked. We are playing a bunch of rookies. Have a look at the stats. Is, is anybody standing out? To, to... And not that we've really done anything at all in those games, but... I was going to say, we've only scored about or... seven goals yeah. total, so... I would maybe start moving guys at this point. And... I was going to give them one more game. Anybody, any other rookies you want to swap in? Not really. I mean, we dress most of the guys we want. Oh, Jackson Smith got a black eye. So we're going to bring in guys who and, played uh, some. Speaking of black eyes, you saw the news about the Coyotes. Today? Yes, seems like they're going to be headed to Salt Lake in not too long. Yeah, which is, I mean, Salt Lake's got a pretty good history of supporting minor league teams, so I think they'll do okay there. Well, it's definitely not going to hurt anything. I mean, um, better than playing in a 5,000-seat arena, but the uh, 4, rumor late in the afternoon was... 4,500. Yeah, not even 5,000. Yeah. The uh, rumor later in the afternoon was that the NHL had promised the uh, Coyotes owner an expansion team. Which, I mean, if if they took your team away from you, just when it was starting to get a, build up a few decent prospects and was looking like it was improving, and then stuck you with a completely new expansion team a year later, uh, how interested would you be in going to see that? Well, I, again, I, Elliot Friedman on Sportsnet's been kind of pounding that drum that it seems like they NHL doesn't want to leave that. But a full reset might actually be a good thing because they said they wondered, he wondered or was speculating, is the Coyotes brand just dead? Which a full reset, though, with the same owner and 
and how much will have changed well, okay. other than completely changing the personnel out. I mean, I think this really got kicked off when, was it the Scottsdale mayor basically said, like, this is a terrible idea for them to try and build this arena. We do not want this. Do not do it. Nobody should want this. <laughs> In a newspaper article of them trying to build that new entertainment district. It's like, well, that's that's pretty clear. All uh, right. We can take a quick look at the uh, exhibition sets. I'm just curious to see what we've... Stummery, and we want preseason, and... I give you a whole new stats button to look at, and you still don't look I, that I way. know. It's just, it's habit, Jeff. It's been like this for eight uh, years. Yeah, I, I can't Anderson help it. Doing well. Yeah, Anderson's doing well. Lilelli is okay. doing well. Four point or three points in four games. Peter not so good. Fifty eight game rating. Well, Peter is only one and a half stars, so that's not really a huge shock. Gel's not kind of surprising. Being bad, you mean or? Yeah. I mean, he, he was a seventh. Lovers? He was a seventh round draft pick, and yeah, I yeah, mean, they had a whole played all season for us last year, did uh, decently. Yeah. So, well, who's he playing with right now, too? Like, he had some better. Corson Coolman looks like he might be able to jump into something. Now, if Jaeger does that for the entire year, three games, one shot, one goal, hundred percent shooting percentage, that would be pretty impressive. And he would finish the year with about 27 shots and 27 goals. That also looks be... like he had a fight and a misconduct at some point. Yeah. All right. Let us go back to the roster here. All right. Let's put him in. Graves come in. Coolman's comes out. Those guys come out. Let's get Hunt, Kip. Andre Miller. Kev Harge, looks like he's struggling too. He might he lost most of last year. He wouldn't blow his knee out, was it? Or I want to say yeah. his arm, but no, it was his knee in the, the start, very start of the uh, junior season last year, and he only came back uh, right near the end. So played 13 games for the year. Morgan Barron's down to 64 percent, so we'll give him some time off. Remember that you still have to sign them if you've only got them on a tryout. Yeah, we got lots of time, and we might have to give them a bigger contract. <laughs> so we'll just kind of play that by ear here. Uh, Kate's comes out, and Akari comes in. All right. And. Jari gets his first preseason game. Oh, Five nothing loss. Boys were... Yeah, so maybe time to put the veterans in. Well, that was a, bu a bunch of the veterans. Okay, look look at that though. They scored with no time left on the clock in the first period. You and Meyer had a pretty good period there. Four points, two goals, two assists. Yeah, he was in at every single goal. Five points. So what you're saying, Jeff, is we need to actually just come here and build our roster. You mean? Well, you said we need to get the veterans in, so let's try building this roster and seeing. Oh, yeah, actually build a starting, real starting lineup and maybe what? see how the goalies are doing. And is it Dyke or Blomqvist? One of the two for the backup. For now, I think it's going to be Dyke um, let's wait till we get to this next stopping point. Now, Jeff, I think somebody asked this, and I'm just going to... Is there any way to automatically undress everybody? Uh, just clear the whole thing, you mean? Yeah. Uh, mm, not offhand. Okay. Just quick, very quickly. I mean, you could have... Click. The easiest way to do it is just uh, sort it by dressed and then just... 
Yep. Double click for the top and it'll rip right through it. Training camp development report. That's what we wanted to see. Easton Odute had a huge jump. Look at all those ups. Luciano Reguero, good going up. Connor Schmidt, again going up. Reed Anderson with a big jump. That's nice to see. Mike Bellavo, Tristan Bohr. That was okay. All right. Anybody making it to 2.5 that wasn't there already? Cagnoni already was, but he still did. Uh, okay. A couple of big improvements there. I think he's going to make the team. Yeah. Corson Coolmans takes a nice big jump there, so that's nice. Uh, Coots, one of the... Uh, Troublemakers? Uh, yeah, it was just think, really well. I think that. we might have to send him down, though. Samuel Fiala is probably going to head down to Wilkes-Barre. Yeah, he is only 18, so back to Seattle, I guess. Oops. Uh, Alex Gendry oh, on I think he's an old 19. Does he have a little... Oh, no, he's, he's a real legitimate uh, 18. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Was, Emil, yeah, no, he was two and a half. Geet has got up to two stars. No, he was at two, he was at two already. Well, he might make this team to be some secondary scoring. Tyler Hopkins, 94 points. Uh, Hellenius isn't at two and a half yet. That's a little disappointing. Oh, Adam Jaco with a big jump. He has to go down to Edmonton if he doesn't make the team. Okay. He might just for that Yeah, he's fact. another guy who was injured, injured a lot of last year. Uh, I got to think. He broke his hand. He the all the way back down, so I'm thinking he's going to go all the way back down. Alexander so get a full eight. season in. Was hurt a little bit last year. End up probably going down. Mazden Leslie's up to two stars, so that's nice. Dominic Peter didn't get off 1.5. Jackson Smith didn't get off 1.5. That's too bad. A little decent progress, though. Some oh, yeah. improvements. Braden Yeager got a nice little bump there, so that's good. Matteo Fabrizi playing his overage year took a big bump, so that's nice. 20 year old, but he's got a chance. He's got a long development curve ahead. Leith Hunter, again. Well, Marashov. Marashov made it to 1.5. Nice. Leith Hunter, okay, yeah. I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've been. Uh, our defense we've drafted are massive. Ooh, Braden Bowman took a big jump. This is a guy I signed late last year. He was on our AHL team. And he's yeah, up to two stars now. Yeah, he was only one and a half stars at the, uh, when we started the save. Yeah. We started this today. So he should be up yeah, to depth for a bit. Serzik. All right. And Noel Akari goes down. Awesome. Taking a look at our depth chart, I guess, here. We can see... All right, nothing major here. Morgan Barron. I think I'm going to sign Morgan Barron to a contract. But okay, let's send Bloomquist down. Can you go with Dyko as a backup? Yeah. At least to start. Okay. Yeah, can always swap it up. And for the other ones, you, you got Bjornis in the AHL and Marashov in the E? Yes. Yeah. Should I switch them? No, that's fine for now. But I mean, all anybody, all the like goalies two through five may get switched around during the season. You should probably take a look in a couple of months. Well, Bjornsson is actually our number five goalie right now. I can move him down to the ECHL and move Mershkov up. Uh, now give maybe do that part way through the year just to, so they both get a lot of starts. All right. This is the goalie in uh, Wheeling. All right, so we have Struble, Graves, or Miller, Latang, and then it Luka. opens up. Uh, well, I think we have Luca Cagnoni, yeah. And then 
Okay, we're going to send Kervarhu back down. Smith, I guess. Sm well, Smith is our sixth defenseman then. And then probably Hunt, Hunt, Hunt is, is our the seventh. All the way down. Hunt looked like he was going to be really good, and then when got yeah, did he get hurt partway through the first year? I think so. Reed Anderson's doing good stuff, but we'll put him down to the minors to let him sizzle. I guess we'll send Coolman's down for the same thing. Yep, he really needs to break out this year. We have some defensive prospects. Okay, so we got Stamkos, Crosby, Malkin, Akari, Barboulet, David Goyette, Hellenus, Rust. Noah Cates, because we had signed him. Peter's going down. Yeah, didn't really have a good uh, camp. Okay, we got three spots left. We're going to send Tyler Hopkins down, even though he's two stars. Okay. I think you have to keep Jaeger for sure. Jaeger stays. Bratz, I'm going to send down, even though he's improving. I want to get him some more playing time than what he's going to get on this team right now. Yeah. So he's going to go down. Did uh, you make uh, Baron a contract offer yet? Not yet, no, because I wanted to see where the salary cap was. We're actually yeah. quickly approaching the floor here. Um, Coots, I don't think is good enough. I think we send Coots back so we don't rush him in. Yeah, back to Seattle, okay. Um, I kind of like the idea of giving Gute a shot, and then if we sign... Jones has got a year of experience, so I think he's, well... Well, he can be our again. 13th forward. Morgan Barron only wants 1.58 for three years. That's pretty minimal. Yeah, that's fine, I guess, uh, for... Yeah, contract quality estimated great, so. So that puts him, then we have Jacko who's going to go, ooh, yeah, Jacko's even though he's doing pretty well, we're going to send him back down to Edmonton. Yeah. He missed a lot of last year, too. So it could use a little bit of extra time. Gendron we're going to send back down, and Alexander Lallier we're going to send down to Wilkes-Barre as well. So we're currently at 65... Almost $65.5 million on our salary cap. So we have some room to either, if somebody comes interesting, we could grab on yeah, waivers. Check the waivers at the start of the season. Or yeah. If somebody's looking to dump salary, we can certainly pick somebody up. Let's take a look at transaction log and trading block. Uh, Robert Thomas. Philip Chittle, Dylan Cozens, Owen Powers on the trading block. And if you really want to spend money uh, this year in the offseason, uh, Connor McDavid is a UFA this season if Edmonton doesn't get him re-signed. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. Okay, so I think yeah. that gives us a rough estimate of what we're doing here. Let's have our lines get built. Oh, Eichel is as well. And, oh, you do have the young yeah, Crosby's on his last year of his contract, so you'll have to take care of that, but. Yeah, okay, I'm just going to even out some of these ice times a bit so our old guys don't tire out. Uh, oh, interesting. It put uh, our rookie on the first pairing with Chris Letang. Let's take a look at our tactics here. Um, Might be because you can't really play the right side at all when you've got a bunch of left defensemen. Well, let's see. Flexible triangle has Latang and Smith. Stretch pass There's gives no us room. a few other players. I think we're going to go stretch pass. Yeah. I mean, focus on Crosby, Malkin, and Stamkos, stuff that's good for them. All right, we're going to go funnel. And Latang, too, I guess. 
behind the net for Ozone attacking then. <laughs> That's... Um... Um... We're pretty bad at a four check no matter what we do. I guess we'll take the one, two, two. And all right, Jeff, well, I continue to look for best tactic practices for us. Do you want to tell us what's some of the things in the new update for FHM 10? Yeah, sure. Uh, one, one of the things we did was uh, really we worked the uh, player filter. Uh, when you're searching for a player, it used to be that uh, you'd set something in the filter and it wouldn't. Uh, and then if you left the screen or even opened a player player profile and went back, the filter was undone. And it was a pain to look for guys that way. So we've added a bunch of uh, features to that. You can save it. You can load uh, previously uh, saved filters and just generally makes it a lot easier to uh, work with that than it was before. Uh, we made a couple of changes to the World Cup. It's bumped it, it it's a, just to match what's going, to go, going on in real life. We've moved it forward to 27-28 now. And they got rid of, remember those, the North American team was only under 23s? Yes. And the uh, Team Europe, which was everybody uh, other than the uh, the biggest European teams. Uh, sort of, you know, all the Germanys and Germany, Ukraine, Switzerland, uh, all put together in one. Uh, that's ending, so we just, uh, and as far as we know, Russia isn't going to be in the next one. So instead of those three teams, uh, just Slovakia, Germany, and Switzerland are now in the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And we also bumped the starting date a little bit because it was uh, running into the uh, NHL season. Uh, made a bunch of changes for the CSV exports. Uh, when you're exporting those files, it'll uh, we change the handling of we optionally change the handling the way the ratings show up with it. It's the scouted ones or the actual ra actual ratings. Uh, you can now also show the export the player rights. We had a request for that. A uh, few changes to the interface stuff. Uh, we had I think yeah on the. Uh, Division conference uh, league standing screens for leagues. You've got the uh, got to have, there's a regulation wins column in addition to regulation and overtime wins, and uh, a few other things. Uh, we almost to the start of. The... Are you still going here? Yeah. yeah no. We, well, I got the next game going up here. So yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I I did some tinkering with two uh, D mode for something I want to pursue a little further with eleven. Uh, just uh, trying to make the game a little look a little bit more like hockey did uh, in the early years. I think I mentioned this last week on stream. Uh, there's uh, restricting the, for the amount of forward passing in the uh, neutral and off well neutral zone uh, or well offensive zone for up to up until about 1929, and then before 1918, I think it is. Uh, it's restricted in the neutral zone as well. You can't pass forward. So it should, you'll see a lot less of that. Okay. And, and a few other things. And, you know, the usual big list of uh, fixes. And we lost another exhibition game. When was the last time you actually won a game? How many We won one in game in the exhibition season. One uh, single sole game. Oops. We gonna lose anybody to waivers? I don't think so. Nobody of important. You get the warning here. I'm not really sure what we need, other than maybe just some more good depth forward scoring. Uh, I mean, the other thing we could do. If we want to try and smooth things out, is move. Okay, David Ference is the only one, and that's fine. 
is we could move Stamkos to the second line and move Malkin down to the third line. So we have three centers. Oh, that's going to cut into Malkin's time too much. I don't think that's a good idea. And that leaves Crosby really all on his own because Ellenis has been slow developing even with the first line time. Just a thought. Cornet, 1991. Well, thanks for coming out, Cornet. You may also want to take a look through the uh, player roles quickly to make sure there's nothing that... Uh... All right, let's just take a look here. That's weird. Why does Morgan Barron want number 20 again? Here you go to sign that. All right. A uh, bunch of people. Let's take an actual look at just the waiver wire. John Klingberg is on waivers, but I don't really think we need him. Mad Sogard. And then Zade Wisdom. That's a sweet name. Connor Zeri, didn't we have him in another last year? Uh, I think that was two years ago. Two years ago? Because yeah. I think it was my game, and last year I did the historical game. So I think that was two years ago. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Didn't exactly light it. Had, only had 12 points in 40 games. Yeah, not really seeing anybody that's yeah. going to help us a ton. Yeah, I think if we're going to make a trade, it's going to have to be a pretty big trade. I'm not really seeing anyone here who's screaming on the page saying we have to have them. All right. Uh, tactics. Actually, let's look at lines here first. Oh, wait, why are we missing somebody? Oh, that's weird. It undressed Morgan Barron. Yeah, because it's, it's just the way it works when you sign somebody off a tryout. Takes my best to take them off the team and put them back. Even though that happened days ago? Like, I signed him a while ago. Okay. All right. Knowing that, just thinking here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Counterattacking forward, perimeter shooter. Okay, maybe we can find a different tactic for Helenus if there's one that's going to work. Maybe easier just to go to your roster screen and open up the. and scroll down through the profiles. You can. See everything at once, sir. Who said him as a playmaker? Go to the roster screen and do what, sorry? Open, say, Struble. Click on Struble's profile. Oh, and look at the profile. Yeah, well, yeah, just, the, the biggest thing, it. yeah, is I need to go look at the lineup to see how they're lineup fitting together. Like, having a playmaker yeah. with the two guys you're shooting makes sense. Malkin, we know, had success as a screener. I think we need to change Geet, which if we go tactics, Geet, he should have a... Probably playmaker. I was going to say just a shooter, like a sniper. Because uh... he scored a bunch in junior. He had 40 goals last year in the queue. Yeah, he tried. And Not that would quite get... his best role, but we'll see. Well, that with then you got Malkin in front and Russ on counterattacks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What's Kate's got then? Can we change him at all? To something more scoring too. No, counterattacking is by far his best go. Well, we could put him on a, a perimeter shooter. 
or a sniper. Cates? Noah Cates, yeah. Uh, uh... Well, what's Yeg? Akari is. He's got a decent shooting range, maybe perimeter shooter, if you're going to make him one of those. Well, just let me look at Akari's stats here. He is a grinder, and that's basically all he's good for, yeah. So then we're left with Yager, and he's the playmaker. Yeah, so having Cates as somebody who can fire that puck as a perimeter shooter would make sense. And that leaves us with, again, our new guy we just brought in, Morgan Barron, who's a grinder, but kind of think moving him to power forward might be a better fit. I'll try it. Uses his size and strength. And Goyet as a dangler with Baraboulet as a playmaker. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, try and increase a little bit more of those times. Yeah, Morgan Barron was called up to Pittsburgh. No, he was already on Pittsburgh. All right, we can see that there is a season preview. Think we get named in the season preview? Thinking not. <laughs> no? All right, all right. Blue Jackets have waived Elvis Merlikens after he started 60 games for them last year. <laughs> no. Uh, down to two and a half stars. No. Colton Sissons traded for Cole Sh Schwind? Schmidt? Schwind? Schwind? And then... Oh, the yeah, okay. Columbus has got up to Rossov and goal, and he's up. Immediately. Four-star potential yeah. probably improved a little in training camp. All right. Uh, no. Edmonton, Buffalo, and Winnipeg are named as features for... <laughs> now, that's, that's a little bit of a surprise. What? Stanley Cup favorites are Edmonton, Buffalo, and Winnipeg. Again, Buffalo was a champion last year. I get it. But yep. three teams you wouldn't exactly expect. Which, speaking of uh, upcoming free agents. And Edmonton was, I think, first, yeah, first in their division last year. Crosby want, only wants a one year deal. Yes. Stamkos doesn't want to renew his contract. All right, Stamkos. I'll try again later in the year. Malkin, I think I'd be okay with letting walk. Well, he doesn't even want to resign anyway, so that's perfectly fine. He's going back to Russia. Probably. All right, we can hopefully get some more more, uh, more oil spending here. Uh... Trying to see if anybody else we really need to sign. And the answer seems to be kind of no. All right. Crosby signs his contract, just as we would expect. Dicow wants number one. Sure. Done. End of the salary cap cushion. I don't know, Jeff. Are we going to be safe? <laughs> Stamkos is sick. We got plenty of room there. That's yeah. As soon as we got rid of the Carlson contract, we were pretty much just fine. I mean, you've cleaned a lot out there over the last couple of seasons. Well, we needed to. Yeah. 
Bo Horvat with a hot start. Four points. Noah Dobson, four points. Josh Morrissey, four points. This also gives us the flexibility if we see somebody of interest. Like Zach White out is on waivers. Who is kind I mean, of tempting. Better than their seventh defense for now. But is, are you going to use it? And he is, does play the right side. And we need right defensemen. He's playing two Good defensively. 2.75 million cap. It's only 1.6 though. Ah, uh, not right now. I did mess with our sliders a little bit for our tactics. I wonder if I should mess with them before we start the season again. Did you do that in the playoffs? Yeah, right at the end of the playoffs, I think, didn't you? I, I turned some stuff down, or it was turned down. I turned some stuff back up. We shall take a look. Andre Shnevestikov is on the block. That would be an interesting ad. On pace for 164 penalty minutes this year. In other words, he took one penalty in his first game. <laughs> Tactics. Okay, so I moved our attacking to the middle, aggressiveness middle. Back checking is a little high. Maybe we'll turn back checking back. Move up our pressure. Move up our tempo. And we're still trying to shoot more, so I think that's okay. All right. First game versus Florida. Some guys are happy. Some guys are, are not happy. Let's see how it goes. Game one is a 6-1 victory over Florida. Okay, that's, again, a better surprise, better start than we expected. Scored power play to start. Scored shorthanded. Gave a power play goal. Scored even, scored even, scored even. And scored Kate even. Only scores in his first game. Morgan Barron scores in his first game for us. All right. 33 shots to 24. Okay, good start. I like it. Good home opener. Yeah. That's not a bad way to start. And Josh Morrissey leading the league in scoring. Uh, you see he's got the top goals. No. Vili Top Hanola. points. <laughs> Goals is Vili Hanola for LA. Oh, three way tie. Da, da, da. All right. Chicago, year three of Connor Bedard. And we did, yeah, there was one of the things we fixed in that uh, if you have that screen Adam was just looking at, the scouting update. Uh, that was some really old code that was generating that and was missing a bunch of players, so it should give you a more accurate list now. All right, I'm just looking to see what their team looks like here. Not bad. Goalies are pretty questionable. Yep. Well, Soderblom is actually not, well, he's okay-ish. And we lose 5-1. So he wow. was more than okay. He made 36 of 37 saves. And they had lost their two previous games. Oh, that, yeah, that was a, mostly the goalie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, goalie shot pretty inside. badly. Not a great defensive game from some of our defensemen, but... Uh, Gute, the rookie. Okay, no, he had a, oh, that was an awful game for him. All right. Maybe the first line is a little too ambitious for him. 
We'll see. We'll give him a we'll give him a little more time. We also have to remember we can still send down uh, our second line left winger too, if need be. Do it before he hits ten games. Yep. Not saying we're going to. I'm saying we can. But we should take a look at who would come up from the AHL. And we're turning over our first month, so maybe we'll be able to start generating money, which means we can make our players happy, which will make them play better. And we can also have Crosby try to not piss off everybody in the room. Try to, yeah, try to get rid of the other quick instead of the one that the new is one. full of guys that don't like him. How's it going, fellow kids? Leave us alone, old man. Monthly budget. All right, there we go. Let's get some morale up here. Let's put it full morale. We're going to advance a couple days before we attack that clique to see if anything dispels or if more gets added. Although, to be fair, we did get rid of a bunch of those guys. Yeah. So that might help. Some. It'll it'll still show up because they're... Uh, that's, it would be too easy to get rid of problems that way if you could just send guys down to the miners and bring okay. them back up to clear it. So uh, he'd, But uh, at least we know they, they won't get any worse during the season because they're not interacting. Okay, here's a, here's a question, though, Jeff, that I don't know the answer to that happened in a personal game of mine. Uh-huh. I had a player, specifically Steven Stamkos in my game. Uh, he, he had an issue. He's had an issue with a few other people, but not thinking about it, uh, my captain retired, and so I made him captain. So he can no longer solve the issues between him and another player. Will that eventually go go away? Yeah, that'll still deteriorate on its own. You. Like naturally over time, or well, it may get better, it may get worse, but he can't intervene directly once he's a captain. I into into stuff that uh, involves him directly. I mean, oh, actually, yeah, they're in great shape here. Well, yeah, we got rid of all those young guys. Okay, so uh, okay, let's try. Oh, we can kill the one completely. Yeah. Whew. And everybody's calmed down, mostly. Okay, so we, we have a little bit of hope here. All right, back-to-back -back game, so we're going to give Daikow his first game of the year. Why is Stamco sad? Five to victory over Philly. I need to go find out why Stamco is sad, though. He's sad because of his major role. He doesn't like See, being uh, a perimeter shooter? No, major role is the uh, contract one. And he oh, oh. is... Uh, uh, check the contract screen, it'll say there. I'll change his... Ma okay, yeah. So... He doesn't like being a goal scorer. Um, what would he rather be? Set for a tactical role right now. Perimeter shooter. Um... Send him as a starting goal. <laughs> that was my, I would just go with a generic or either generic offense uh, forward. That's really probably the best one. Okay, offensive forward, and he immediately becomes happy. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't want you expecting him to 
do all the scoring. Yeah. Guy who's constantly scores goals. How dare you want me to score goals? Okay. Maybe he'll really like that though since like the start of his career. He was He's pretty much always had quite a few more assists and goals the last few years. Yeah, he played well for us. In real life too though, I mean. Game versus Florida. Yeah, we're but still. Duchesne's getting traded again. Duchesne, yeah, maybe. And we pick up another win versus Florida. All right. Emil Gute has a goal and assist. Um, yeah, Cagnoni seems to be playing pretty well against Florida. He had his first goal against him, and then. Okay. A couple of assists. Empty net goal, but you know what? I'll take it. That's how you get your confidence. Take the assist, too, mm. if he's working. Sabres, Kings, and Dallas are the only undefeated teams left. Well, Sabres won the Stanley Cup last year, so... Yeah. Should I mention this? We, we started this game with the uh, version of the database from right at the beginning of this year, so the Sabres were... Expected rated to be considerably better than they... Yeah, than they actually turned out to be this season. All right. You know, just before we go too far here... We currently have, okay, we have s seven spots for contracts. Let's just look and see if there's any one of interest for us to add. We'll say anyone under 26. Actually, I don't know why I limited that to 26. Let's make that to 35. Slight difference there. Yeah, well. We can see 27-year-old Cameron Wright, who played for the KHL for a little bit. AHL played for Philly. Yeah. Cameron Allen played 10 games for Washington last year. Okay, can play both sides. Shoots right. Well, there's your right hand defenseman if we really wanted one. Jordan Gustafson. Stuart Roloffs. I mean, if we needed some forward depth, there's a decent amount of guys here. Do we, though? I said if we did. Poor guy put up 82 points in the queue and is now played in the SPHL. Jonathan Fauchon. Wait, Matt Murray? Playing in Texas? He's only 27? You're thinking of older Matt Murray? That's no, younger Matt Murray? No, I know. I thought he was still older than that. I know there's two Matt Murrays, but I thought they were both in their 30s. Double checking up. Uh, he's February 22nd, 98. All right. Actually, I guess other Matt Murray is only 29 right now, too. Okay. Okay. Oh, now there's a tempting. Although he had, just hasn't turned out. Dustin Wolf. Yeah. No, not really worth it as he is in this game. No. Close, though. Close. So, overall, I think a pretty good start so far to the season. Yeah, again, better than I expected. I mean, so you still... I think we got even younger this year with uh, Carlson leaving. And we're young, we're cheap, and somehow still winning games. Oh, no. That's going to be bad. 
Dustin Wolf ended up in Colorado. And 2 1 victory over Minnesota. We actually win in a shootout. All right. Everybody for us scored. That's, that's nice. I like that. Okay, five games in. All right. Have you given Dyke our game yet? Yeah, yeah. We had a back-to-back. -back. He played one. Yeah. And give him the next game, too, if you'd like. I'd want to get to game nine here before, so we can look and make a decision on whether we're going to keep up. Okay. Our guy here before we call her for the night. Which isn't in too long because we're at five and I see two games coming up here quick. Washington on, not off to a good start at all. They were pretty bad last year as well. Is Ovechkin still hanging around? I think he might have retired. Oh, no. Nope, he's still there. Because Netzo's actually still there, too, huh? Well, three weeks. Not that big for Cates. No, but it's just... Oh, and Struble got hurt, too. Shin splints. All right. Replaced with... Hunt. Hunt, right. yeah, is coming in. They're Cates is going to get replaced with Belsma. Or Jelsma. I said Belsma. That doesn't make any sense. And the uh, Capitals have Mac and Celebrini signed out of college this year, so. Nice. Um, Maybe we've got a future. There. Let's go just take it. Jelsma, up and down winger. Oh, we're going to make him a perimeter shooter. Just to keep things interesting. And... Alright, yeah, we're going to leave him in. Just nothing else, and... 5-3 victory over Boston. Oh, look at look who's number three star, Jeff. Good day. So he wants to stick. He scores back-to-back -back goals in the second period. Okay, now we have another assist. He's off to a pretty good start after that one bad game. Yeah. It's working. And Sabre's the only undefeated team left. Du -du. Now we should have an easy game here against Washington. Curious to see where they've got Celebrini if they're playing him with uh, Vetchkin. We will take a look. And they had a ton of guys on tryouts uh, during camp, veterans. How many of those they kept around? Dylan, for one. Could Nikolai Ehlers be traded? an interesting ad all right um not going to change anything there we are going to give die cow this game yeah makes sense mel gibson is a net for mitchell gibson <laughs> no not mel gibson uh vetchkin kuznetsov oh, yeah. wilson howden celebrini frank protest backstrom bataglia Sue Liv, Elman. Yeah. A lot of young guys in there. Meant to look kind of like us, actually. How dare you. And we lose 7-3 just because you said that. Yeah, I guess Ovechkin's not done. Three points. Man, you know what's even worse? We were up 3 nothing. Oh. And then fell apart. I'll blame Dyke out for that. Does that again? Maybe you got to look at swapping him with Blomqvist. 
Oof. And when you get to, when you get to nine games, take a look at the AHL too. Let's I'm just curious. Take a post game analysis here. Minus or plus seven shot differential. Steven Stamkos, nice. Winning faceoffs. Terrible defensive game rating. Thirty three defensive game rating from Ryan Graves. Bo Gelsma did not have a good game. Ineffective goaltending. Yeah, I'd say he qualifies there. Rough. Um, okay, I was going to look at our lines here for a second. Can Noah Curry play center? Yeah. No, wait, never mind. Let's do this. Our fourth line center not we're only winning two out of eight draws is not good enough. You're bearing a shot there. Tap seems to be struggling. Got that next. Well I'm not starting the backup again. No. <laughs> Or should I? Dun, dun. All right. This, uh, yeah, no, okay. We'll get to game nine here. Yep. Strubel says he's ready to play. So let's get him back yeah. in for Hunt with Struble. And Rust is hurt now. That's not good. Hip soreness. Okay. Over game. Oh, don't have much other choice right now. Just wondering if I... Uh, no, I guess Groob is... Group, we can't have Group as a screener. That does not work. All right, Playmaker will work just fine for him. Get us back on track. 6 3 victory. Stamkos with two goals, two assists. It's up the old team. All right. Morgan Barron scores. All right. Post-game analysis on this one. Barron's got four goals already. Yeah, I told you. He's a great signing. Braden Jaeger. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. 100 offensive game rating for Stamkos. Nice. Dude showed up to play. Oh, Crosby got his butt kicked on the faceoff, Don. Yeah, he only played 13 and a half minutes, or 13, well, more than half, but still. Well, I evened out the times a bit, so specialty specialty times is where those guys really shine, but that's what you kind of want for them. And again, because also their age, I don't want to tire them out too much. And Buffalo still hasn't lost. Undefeated season. When was the last time there was an undefeated season in the NHL? Uh, never. That seems unlikely. Not even back in, like, the beginning. Everybody always lost one game. Yep, even when they were playing, like, 20 games a year. Nobody's ever gone through a year undefeated. That's actually impressive. Da -da. All right, Demko still playing well. Do 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 do. 
Well, if we only continue to go six and two for the rest of every single game, I think that would actually be okay for us. All right, Noah Cates has resumed skating. Also good news for us. Pretty sure everyone is still hurt. Just take a quick look. Yes. Game versus Columbus. Okay, going to give Dicow this game again. Just to see. And we lose 7-2. Okay, so yeah, maybe he's going down. He's... How many... Uh... Well, Blomkus is not exactly blowing it up. He's got an 895 in the minors. Well, it's Mirage I've done in the... Uh, and I've done much to bring him up, but I had one good game. 952, yeah. Bjornsson uh, has Bjornsson's 890. even worse. No, he's better than Blomquist. No, he's not. He's got a better save percentage. No, 895 versus 890. I thought it was eight, I thought it was lower than that. No, my bad. No. Okay. So, we cool I think from everybody between the uh, starter and the lowest level guy. All right, as we're at nine games here, let's take a look at our points. So our biggest question mark is whether or not the 18-year-old rookie stays on the team. He has six points in nine games. I think that's a resounding yes, he's staying on this team, Jeff. And uh, look at the star ratings. He's up to three stars. three stars. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty clear. And our defenseman has eight points in nine games. Yeah, again. And you wanted to move him off the team. What? I never said that. Yes, you did. You're like, oh, we should move him down. Uh, I did not. Down to the no, mines. Somebody else. Uh, that was not him. So it was. You said we shouldn't take him off the first pairing. And I'm like, no, no, so no. You should take him off the first pairing. And... and I said, let's ride. All right. So our goaltending is looking a little shaky if Jari doesn't get going, which maybe means we should be watching the waiver wire to pick somebody up. Or possibly going out to make a trade. Jari's been going fine. It's a strikeout. It's been a problem. Well, I know. Like I said, for a backup. We need something. Yeah, I know. This is disappointing. I mean, what do uh, Dyko's stats look like right now? Not what we looked at, or what do you specifically do? Do you want to see about him? I no, I, didn't, I don't think we looked at his NHL stats, did we? Uh, goalie stats. That's goalie ratings. Or, yes. I clicked on the wrong thing. Try that again. Minus 5 uh, GSA. Yeah. Ooh. Minus 2.13. Well, I guess... 35 save percentage. Yeah, that's uh, not going well so far, so... If you want to swap goalies at this point, might be an idea of Vanatrix still out there. Why did that take away, guys? Because it's showing contracted but signable, not uh, well, outside. Carol Veljamaka also just got released. That check looks like he's a little better, though. Uh, his stats last year weren't very good 896. Bring back old friend Dan Vladar, or maybe, yeah, Dan Vladar. His stats weren't very good no, either. And he's no better than what we got now. Nobody's looking to move goalies. Patera, Primu. All right. 
Yeah, no improvement. Well, we can just hold off and see if it gets better. All right. With that, oh, seven nothing loss. Oh. Yeah, not a great way to end. No. Mm. when you try to sneak in that last game. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on Twitch.tv slash Franchise Hockey Manager, as well as Twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments as well, with archives going live on Saturday at about 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For our European viewers, you can reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash franchise hockey manager. On Twitter, we're at franchise hockey, where you can find a link to our official Discord and our Twitter bio. Of course, you can come on down to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right hand corner. We can come talk about franchise hockey manager, Elk Park Baseball, Perfect Team Go, or anything else you wish to discuss. As we've mentioned several times already, the latest update for Franchise Hockey Manager 10 and likely the last big content update as the shift and focus to the next title in the FHM series starts uh, is available right now. If you're watching this live on Twitch, if you're watching this on the YouTube stream, it's available now. If you have the Steam copy, it's already automatically updated for you. If you have... The fast spring version, you need to grab the update from us. I'm Jeff, did I, gonna win there. did I miss anything else there? Uh, I think we covered pretty much everything there. Uh, so if you haven't picked up the update yet, uh, it's available now. And uh, have a look at that. And assuming nothing's wrong with it, if there's some if you find anything game breaking in the next uh, little while, we can always go back and do a hot fix for it. But... As of right now, probably the last full update for uh, FHM 10 yes. and on to FHM 11 next year. All right. With that, thank you very much, and we will see you all again next week.